the lowest of the low are the rowing machines. Yeah. You, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, can uh, I tell you a story? One time, this is quick, I'll make it quick. Go, go for it. Uh, I'm up on the elliptical, okay? And the rowing machines at the gym where I go are right in front of that. There is this guy, and he, like, I would see him frequently when I would go. And all the time I'm like, hey, you're a bit weird, but okay, that's fine. But he's on the rowing machine in front of me, and I'm up on the elliptical, so I can't see him really because he's like directly below me. And he got up at one point, and then he like sat back down, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, you eating, you weirdo, whatever you're doing, cool, cool, cool. And then this guy, this other guy walks over, and then another guy walks over. And I'm like, why are we just having this party at the rowing machines? This is fucking weird. Dee, 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 dee. I'm doing my thing. Piss off, everybody. Turns out he was having a seizure. Oh. And I was literally above him. Dee, 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 dee. I didn't fucking know until there were paramedics there. Mm. That's how long it took for me to be like... Oh. Some people have that, that workout drive. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I just couldn't see. I just couldn't see down over the thing. I felt like, so, I even said to the girl, I'm like, I don't know how I didn't see it. Like, I just, I physically could not see him. And now I feel like such a bitch. Damn this seizure, I'm getting my pump on. <laughs> Seriously, <Fuck>. though. <laughs> Gotta row. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep gotta going. Roll. I gotta get thirty roll, minutes. <laughs> roll through the seizure. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, felt, I felt like such a bitch after because I'm like in my head every time I see this guy, I'm like, "You're something's weird with you." No, you're literally trying not to have a seizure at every moment yeah, in right. a gym. No kidding. Awful. That sucks. Anyway. Well, is that all? <laughs> yeah, that that all, all, that's going to be the cold open. Oh, no. <laughs> all of that. It was just be me going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Resident Evil 4. This is not the remake. Oh, it is not out That's yet. I was going to offer you one. Right here. And some of the Reeses. Yeah, this is, the, this is not the remake. This is the old one from 2005. Such a good game. This game is fucking great. It holds up, too. Yeah. I played through it recently, obviously, but, uh, as you can tell by the yeah screen. But um, yeah, this game this game holds up really, really well. The fucking uh, so we're gonna play it. The fucking remake's probably gonna be badass because the oh, uh, special two. I don't know what that is, so let's do it. Because uh, the remakes for two and three were great, even though three was very short. Three was eh. It was okay. Yeah, this one, I've been deliberately not looking up any footage for the Resident Evil 4 remake because yeah. it's probably going to be pretty fucking slow. Two, two was awesome. Two was great. Did you ever play it to, to completion? Yeah. Oh, you did? Go I ahead. did finish that one. Oh, yeah, two was good. Two was good. Yeah, I've actually been, uh, I've been on a Resident Evil kick recently. I played through number eight, finally. And I thought that one was okay. It yeah. Didn't, it didn't blow me away. It was good. It was not like 7. No. 7 was better. Um, but 8 was still good. Yes. Um, and then I bought some of the old, um, older ones. They did a remake of the original for GameCube, mm -hmm. which has now since been ported to a bunch of shit. Yeah. Um, I got Resident Evil Zero, which again was a GameCube game. And then um, Code Veronica Action or whatever. I haven't played those ones yet. But, um, I think they're allegedly doing a remake of the original Resident Evil, also. The remake of, like, all of them. Okay. I personally think that once they hit five, they should stop there. Yeah. Don't do Like, don't, six, don't do anything from five onward, because why would you? Yeah. But that's just my opinion. We'll see. They might do a, a remake of five. Who knows? Yeah, I don't see the reason for five, six, and seven getting a remake. I played. I, um, excuse me. I know we were. Um, what? Well, chug, chug, chug. I need a little sip. You can fill it up before we go. 
Um, I remember you and I were playing six and having a good time with it because it's silly and yeah. goofy. But um, <laughs> I was playing it single player for a little while after we had played it, so I played through parts of it. But um, I tried playing it again recently, and like that game is like really boring single player. <laughs> it's not very fun. It's only fun because we we can you know fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But that's the problem with it. It's just like it's so that one feels very uninspired compared to like a lot of the the ones that came after it and before it even. You know what would be cool? Instead of uh, like in the remake of four, <sighs> instead of playing Leon, you get to play the two guys who drop them off here. Why they die right away? <laughs> They die, like, immediately. Yeah, well, they <laughs> they don't actually die in this one. Alternative. Oh. <laughs> they they crash, and then, the like, you, you start thing. you start off, and then you play as them. Uh, <clears throat> you think your parents have an orange press? A citrus press? Like, for juicing? Yep. Maybe. Do you want to steal it? Yep. Which if we look for one, we probably could find one. We just bought a whole fuck ton of oranges. I got so many oranges. And they're juicy so motherfuckers. Cheap. They're so good. Yeah, they're juicy motherfuckers. Which ones? Oranges. Oh, I don't like oranges. Juicy little slut. Why does he restart the car? He never stopped it. Because he stopped it. Maybe it idled out. It's a bad car. Um, That's why it crashes off the road and they don't die. Oh yeah. god, I'm sick on you. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh Won't be the god. first time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <Hi>. What? <laughs> I was insinuating a fetish. Like, yeah. That was the joke. Funny joke. I don't think this game has subtitles. Yeah, this game doesn't have subtitles for some reason, so I can't turn them on. Are you sure? I'm pretty confident, yeah. I will look. I've tried turning them on before, I think. I don't think there's an option. I don't think this game has subtitles. Leon! That's all you hear from here already. It's just Leon. <laughs> oh, it's that outfit. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Detective. That's pretty good. I've never played through the game with this outfit, so I'm excited. What's the first one? It's his uh, RPD outfit. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And then she's, and then Ashley's in like a, like a leather, she got leather pants and like a leather like top on. She's like, a, like a, I don't know, like a rock star diva outfit yeah. or some shit. So I don't know, I don't know what hers is here. Maybe it's the suit of armor. That would be fun. She's, she, there is a, a version of her with a suit of armor. Where she gets the uh, go medieval on these bitches. This is pretty sick, actually. I like this outfit a lot. That's actually really cool. Alright. So I just played through this game not that long ago, so I should kind of have a decent memory of what to do. All you gotta do first is uh, invade the local's house. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing um, right now. Shoot up the boy. I'm taking care of that right now. Don't worry. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game again recently, I wasn't sure if it was gonna still be as engaging as it was the first time. This game fucking holds up, like, so good. And I'm hoping that they keep a lot of the similar type of stuff in it from, you know, in the remake. Yeah. Like, um, I hope what they do... Um, I, I want them to keep, like, the attaché case when you see it, you know? Like, because in, in the newer games, it's just kind of a bunch of black squares, and it's just like, you know, like... Um, like just little symbols, you know. Yeah, and the in a case. Yeah, and the inventory management in number uh, eight was like non-existent. Like you had so much inventory space that it was never a problem. Um, but in this in this game, like you have to like manage your space pretty well. So I like I want to um, I don't know I, w I hope they keep that element of it, but we'll see. I'm just playing all these cutscenes because. Uh, because it's a good game. It's a good game. A good I, game. I wouldn't mind skipping them, but I well, no, we're going to experience the game as a whole. This game was really like, I don't know, man. So we never see the guys die. No, we don't, but you see what ha becomes of them. Yeah, well, you know, you can still play a game with them until you get horribly mutilated. <laughs> It'd be a short game. <laughs> 
Turns out there was two other guys. They were dummies. The, you guys took off your clothes and you tried to sneak as someone else. Wow, you dropped a green herb, really? Okay. Oh, okay. And I'll take it. It's fine. Take his handgun ammo that he shouldn't have. I watched a speedrunner play this game. Yeah, yeah. And he had he was doing. Um, yeah, I watched one too. <laughs> he was doing this test basically where he was seeing um, if there's a way to get. Oh. Uh, hey, what you... uh, for him to only play with um, the for starting pistol and beat the whole game. Oh yeah. And there's this one thing that uh, you can do. I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, I think it's if you upgrade your crit chance. Oh, yeah, no. It, the, so if you... It increases your knife crit chance, too. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, see, in this game, I know... Um, or I recently discovered this, like, just kind of, like, through posts or whatever. I don't know. Um, there is... With the original... With the regular starting handgun, if you... Upgrade it all the way, like the game, or like the each gun has like its own like special like upgrade that you get after you upgrade it all the way. Yeah, and that's what the um, the uh, the special one is for. It is that it up ups your crit chance by like fifty percent or something like that. Yeah, and that's the thing is, um, it upgrades your your knife crit chance, but only with this gun. Any other gun that you bring out that has crit chance ups, that would make sense. Um, does not increase your knife crit chances. Because, yeah, I think he was doing a knife-only playthrough oh, at some point. Uh, okay. Or, no, sorry, it was a, um, uh, like, a knife-slash-kick. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that was... Right here. Oh. That was this whole thing. There's the bear trap there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Let's see. Oh. I am probably not going to use this handgun through the whole game. Yeah, no, it's perfectly... I like the uh, Red Nine a lot. Yeah. But... Um, Kill that, man. I understand the... I think that the crit chance thing is a pretty big advantage. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, you can just, like, cap headshots and then people are dying. They look... <laughs> well, maybe maybe. So you don't have to deal with the <laughs> fucking, you know... Yeah. The thing of it is, it's funny with this game too, though. My recent playthrough is like I was so stocked up, like almost all the time, and I don't know if it's because I just play the game better than I used to, or if it's because I know what's coming up. Yeah, where things are. But they they do stock you up with a lot of fucking like like look. I just picked up a whole fuck ton of health items, and like I'm not even like in the game yet, really. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you kicked me twice technically. Okay. Yeah, I found bunions. Fun I'm pretty sure. Are you gonna are you gonna squeeze a are lemon? You, are you taking that? I'm gonna ask her. Oh okay. and then also, that's a reamer. I, is th would this do it? I don't know. Ask what her. is this for? Ask her. Yeah, ask her. It would be where uh that's where if you want like a really pulpy um liquid. Cause then you'll you'll shove it in there and then you spin it around and it gets the liquid in the and the pulp. Yeah, and the pulp. So that wouldn't be good. I mean, if you like pulp, then it is a good idea. If you don't like pulp, then no, that's not. That's but I'm not sure idea. exactly what you're trying to do here. I'm just, honestly not sure either. I think you just want to juice what we got. Because we got Dear a lot of worries. You could take... Dear Mary. <laughs> you, could, you could take, like, some of those grapes that are in there and just go... And get grape juice. Oh, they're all like shrivelly. I checked them. That's them. perfect. Sad. Even easier. You should maybe ask if she wants us to throw those out or something. No. That that way, <laughs> when they come back, it. they can have flies. Little tiny gnats. Ah, silly, right, Billy. Here, here's our guy. Here's our guy right there. Where? Why did my clothes change? <laughs> are, they, are none of these cutscenes real time? Really? That's interesting. Yeah, there's our guy right there, man. See, he's dead. Yeah, no. That's they Who's actually screaming. Is it you? <laughs> <It's the genius. laughs> you see, it's actually not him. Um, like I said, after the car crash, a bunch of stuff happens, was, and then they have to dress up as uh, uh, villagers 
to get past. Oh, everyone. so they're posing as villagers. Yeah, they, yeah, they're okay. posing as villagers. Oh man! And they found uh, they had killed a person, and you know they they swapped their clothes with it, and then the guys are like, ah, oh, here's the interlopers, and then they took the uh, uh-huh. that person's body, who was actually just a. Uh, you know, one of the one of the bros in the village, and then they hung him up and set him on fire. So you're welcome. That's that's the backstory. Yeah, that's the backstory. That's the history. I think this whole thing is uh, based on how many people you kill like quickly or something. Oh, everybody likes. I always like. Song, yeah. I always like how in some of these other like. Resident Evil games, like primarily like, you know, this one, number five, and number eight. They all they all open with like this like onslaught part. Yeah. And I, I think, think that's they just like to I think yeah, well, they like to, overwhelming. Yeah, they like to overwhelm you right out the gate. And I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. Because it's like ah Yeah. And especially it number forces eight. you to use the use the mechanics. Yeah, especially in number eight with the lichens, like those those guys are creepy and all that. Yeah. Like it's pretty cool. I got a shot. I got a grenade. I'm gonna push this bitch down. Oh, that's a chainsaw guy right there, too. Yep. Shit. Well, oops, I thought I'd buy Bitch, then I'm gonna buy a bunch of lemons. You're gonna buy a bunch of what? Lemons. And make, like, iced tea. Lemonade. You won't like it, but I will. I like iced tea. Like green tea, yeah. steep it for like two minutes, add a little bit of honey and lemon. I stick away from ice. the honey, but yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. You know, toss a need in there. Here's your present. Oh, too far. Even, whoops. <laughs> too far. Whoopsie. I'm sure he's fine. I do like how powerful this is. Yeah, really good. Who knew that putting a bag on your head made Ancient. you basically invincible? Isn't his name Dr. Salvador or something? Yeah, yeah, it's Salvador. Jacques Salvadori. Jacques. Good shot, good shot. Oh, 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 he's got a dirt bike. I'm on a dirt bike, guys. Is this how much snow they have? Are you joking? Oh, jeez. Is that Florida? No, no that's it's fucking St. Mary's. Like, oh. an hour away. How much do you guys have? Zero. About the same as we have here. Okay. That's fucked. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, he was. They're, uh... No, I don't want. Yeah. There was this, um... That looks like a lot. I bet your school's gonna be canceled. There was a broken record somewhere. I don't remember where. Like, it was a negative 100 degrees. In one of the United States. (gasps) Oh, yeah! Really? Really? Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> <clears throat> Melissa loves yeah. the merchant in this game. The what? The merchant. I fucking hate him. I forgot all about that. Just for like a period of three weeks, all I heard all fucking day long was. <laughs> 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 Well, what do you buy? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> yeah. And um, then eventually, I would have to say, "Can you turn it down, please?" <laughs> yeah. That is annoying. In yeah. fairness, it is really annoying when you're like buying and selling a bunch of shit. Oh, yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah, just over and over again. It's the same. And it's the same fight. voice. Cl- yeah, it's the same voice clip every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was New Hampshire. Uh, they hit minus 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy shit. Um, 
That's like dangerous. <laughs> and wind gust above to 127 miles per hour. Wow. The world is changing. Yeah. It's getting worse every day. Yeah. That's wild. What's that in Celsius? <coughs> Negative 108 also. Um, they line up after a point, don't they? Yeah. 108... Yeah. yeah, your mom says no problem. You can also take the you can also take the ninja blender or food processor too, all on the same side of kitchen by drawer where placemat are. Alright, so that's negative seventy seven degrees Celsius Celsius. That's fucking wild. Is that cold to you, Melissa? Negative how many? Seventy seven. That's I can't even I can't, can't even that. Yeah, I can't even imagine, yeah. Like what is it? like what do you what can you even reference that to? <laughs> that should be cold. Yeah. All right. I don't know if there's any other good shit here. I think I about picked her clean. Might be some shotgun ammo up top. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some. I remember when I first heard that they were remaking this game, I was like, that's a big game to remake, you know? I think what I hear, too, I think they're adding certain parts to it. Like, I think, uh, they're, might, yeah. I think they're adding, like, new that's areas right. or something like that. But, yeah, like, this, this like, the suitcase thing, like, I want that in the game. Yeah. I want it to look fun. like, yeah, I want it to look like that, and I want it to function like that. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you they're probably not going to do that, but... Yeah, no, they're probably going to continue with the... No! They're probably going to do the same like black squares and the symbols yeah, like the a same as seven, blue. eight, and two. Yeah, it's probably three. not going to be kill the chicken. Do you, want, the do you chicken. want me to kill the chicken? Destroy the chicken. Where the hell did it go? It went into the house. Oh hi. <laughs> this ain't no Zelda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. What do you think? Uh, what do you think that means in Spanish? I don't know. Look it up. Yo, get that bitch! Yo, dude. I'm gonna juice so much shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Good. What do the villagers yell? I think you have to shoot down the pendant <clears throat> and it doesn't damage it in any way. Hi, puppy. Uh, I'm going to kill you. Or I'm going to make you mince me. Or I'm going to make mince meat out of you. That's what they're saying. Un forestero? No. There's um ca cabron, which is literally mountain goat or mother trucker. Um, a jeef boss. I'm probably butchering all of these. Um, Voyarompte, unintelligible pedosa. I'm gonna break you into pieces. Mirda Schnizzle. Yeah. She tells me she has a lemon zester. Oh, yeah. Alestel. There he is. Usel oh, Forastero. It's the foreigner. Um. Un Forastero. Uh, Det. Desta de Imper. Impraca. Behind you, imbecile. Uh, Kanjit Little, grab him. 
Um, Murine. Murine, Mur Marun, Die, Die, Die. Matalo, kill him. Matalo. Um, Morris S. Bibaru, to die is to live. This one's really long. These guys are bad. Kua, <laughs> Kajero, Esta, <laughs> Ashana, Aqua, Allegrata, Cabrana. What the funk are you doing here? Get the funk out of here. That's really what they're saying? Well, no. Like, the, I know the exploded version, but that's that's really what they're saying, huh? Yeah. Wow. Um, that's interesting. I don't know. Did she quest see escape? Don't let him escape. That's um, that's interesting because this game doesn't have a lot of swearing in it. So I'm, I'm, that's interesting that they would, I guess, just make people like if you're a non-Spanish speaker, you would you don't you don't know what they're saying. Um, it's just very odd that they would have like curse words in it. Yeah. Um. Ah, pora ah. After him. Uh, to you're screwed. No es desafento. Are you sure you're not dreaming? Es hora de rezar. Now it's time to pray. Tenemos qui irenos. We need to get out of here. Oh shit, he has a gun. And we don't. Um. <laughs> Where's that line at? Los Illuminados, the Illuminated Ones, Los Ganados. While this doesn't directly translate as livestock or cattle, it can also be used to refer to a group of people like a mob. Las Plagas, well, we know that one. Las Campanana, the bell. Is that what? Plague or something? The, pla the plagues. That's what I would think, yeah. Uh, Cerubos, brains! With four A no five A's. Okay. I don't. <laughs> that one's just probably an Easter egg. That one. Yeah. Cause like, why would they be after brains? Zombies, you know. Oh, yeah, but they're not really zombies yeah. either. No, they're not. All right. Well, I think I got all the medallions in this area. Yeah, that's pretty much how you speak Spanish. <laughs> I mean, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm pretty much fluent now. Do you know, do you know what that's wrong? No. That's an Evan Breen vine. Oh. Do you know Evan Breen? I, I don't I don't vine. So oh, no, not, not a vine. Was it a vine? I don't know. But it's, an Evan, it's an Evan Breen video. Who's Evan Breen? He's the one that, you know... Um, I don't know. That's why I asked. Uh, what the fuck is the video? Son, you're dying. I was like, what? Oh, we oh. what, bitch? How dare you? That's where I said it. That guy. You know that. I'm not your son. Yeah, he's like, I'm not, I'm not your dad. She's not your mom. Yeah, that guy. But dad, I told you I'm not your dad. I'm the boy of the house. <laughs> yeah, that guy. That's Evan Breen. Mm -hmm. And it's from... There was an Evan Breen video where he's like... Here's how you speak Spanish, and then like I don't know, some fucking just walk a little bit closer. High, to some you. high dude comes in or something. I forget. I um, told your mom. I was uh, like, we went to visit Graham this afternoon. It was crazy. An Undertaker farted. came to wheel someone out right beside us. We pretended it wasn't happening. Pretty much that exact moment, a little old lady resident who was sitting near us got up and was farting really loudly the whole way down the hall. It was hilarious and surreal. We waited till we got to the car to laugh because we didn't want to make a big deal and wanted to be respectful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking late. I knew that they were there. I just didn't. You just don't care. Yeah, I'm just trying to go. <laughs> yeah. It was an eventful day in that, that was respect. Wild. It was wild. <laughs> it was wild. It was pretty cool. Wild. Meanwhile, Graham's sitting there like this. <clears throat> Yeah. Did you notice how much she was fucking doing that? She playing piano. Maybe she, she, well, she a... had like she has really long painted fingernails right now, and and she loves that. Uh -huh. So she's like doing this every time she would talk. She'd be like, and then he did this, and then he we wanted to go here and here. Taylor, here. Are you, uh, partially Italiano. 
No. But the whole time her fingernails were just click, click, click. Why? Why am I Italian? Because, you know, she's like this, talking with her hands. The table is right here. I don't know. No, we're, we're all fucking Polish. Oh my god, that was so we're funny. We're bunch of dirty Polacks. <laughs> Me too. Well, partially. <laughs> I'm also French. A little bit of Irish. Ooh, Italy. S- some Scandinavian. Um, Funyan. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit Funyan. A little bit fun, yeah. And I'm a little bit... Ooh! Why not just it's walk beautiful. underneath it? Like, I could just crouch underneath it. Leon has a bad lower back. I guess so, huh? Well, he can't really crouch much. Well, funny. All these no, eggs. no, thank you. I'm good. Appreciate it, though. I don't care for Funyuns that much. Funyuns are pretty... Funyuns are... It's just like an onion ring. Funyuns are pretty great. They're pretty good. Sometimes I get into them, but most Sometimes. of the time I gotta be like a high AF. I gotta be high AF if I'm gonna be eating one of those. Oh, my nephew's high AF Fair all the time. Enough. They fucking love yeah, them. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Because you have lower standards well. when you're like that. Yeah, but the nephew I'm talking about is like 12 years old. So yeah, well, fucking, you know, it's legal. I don't know if we have fun. No. Just not. For I don't think we've ever seen them over there. Now that you mention it, yeah. Because they all get consumed. I think we did at one point. Yeah, now we're losing our fucking Delicio pizza. What the? What are we gonna do? You don't even have Delicio pizza in America. No, but I mean in Canada, we're losing it. It's de jour here. I know. I know that. Um, but I'm just saying we're losing it over there. We're not gonna have it over there. Are you guys gonna get Velveeta shells when you're down here? No, we got two boxes at home. I think two. Or three. We had two or three boxes. I think we have one. One. Yeah. I think we have two. I think we got a Velveeta. I haven't used them because we only have one. I think we got a Velveeta, and I think we got an off-brand one. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. That's what I think we have. Have you ever seen Goblin Slayer? No, you told me about it, though. Yeah. You know, There's a rape in it, isn't it? Whoa, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to, like, talk around that way. Oh. oh. <laughs> but yeah. But <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there, that thing happens. And that uh, that just reminded me of it too, because uh, what happens is the girl kicks this goblin guy, or the, she's going to go kick this hobgoblin, but then uh, it catches her foot, oh, and yeah. then whips her around, and then, uh, 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 as the kids say nowadays, um, have it. have happy fun times with her. That is only happy fun times for him. Right. Well, you told me about that before, that that's, that's yeah. a thing that happens in that yep. and in then that television and then it, program. And then it just becomes like a pretty normal anime after that. So like Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, it's still a little more gruesome. Wow, wow there's like squirrel and all this. Where is he at? Uh, in Florida. I know, but they've got him. Where is he? I don't know. She just sent that back. Okay. That's what we got my dad for Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel Elvis. Thing. No, not. I think we did. Oh, we didn't show you. No, yeah, it's, not a, somebody. it's a yeah Elvis squirrel statue. I see that. I like that. Yeah. And they took it to Florida with them. They took it. Interesting <laughs> choice. But all right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's hilarious. That was like forty dollars. It is hilarious. It's worth every penny. Yeah. It's like that garden gnome T Rex. It's so dumb. Yeah. It's worth every penny. You know. Literally after you guys bought me that, Dennis was like, "Look, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna buy for my garden," and it was the, literally the same T Rex yeah. <laughs> you know, statue awesome. with the gnomes. I'm like, "Oh yeah, I got one of those. Nice. It just sits, uh, it sits on my desk. It doesn't. It, I don't put it outside. Sure, well, yeah, it's a garden gnome. You, you should have cher- sold it to him. You want to cherish that? Yeah. Could have. I could have, but then I would have lost the T Rex statue. That's true. So yeah, I just keep it next to my desk. Or on my desk. You know a gift is good when you have to preface it with like, I know, you know how stupid. down this is. Uh-huh. Yeah. But like, you Those are have the best to have ones. it. Those are the best gifts. Be like, I know this is stupid, but here. And then you take it and, like, and then you laugh and then you'll cherish it. Unless you hate that person. Then you won't cherish it. Oh no. Oh, good lord. She was in Ooh, Home something, Depot cop. and found this. Okay, lean forward at the same time as me. 
I'm sorry? She was in the Home Depot and found this canopy, and now she wants to get a group of volunteers, probably us, to go and install it at the Metal Lodge. Yeah. It's only $800. She can do that. <laughs> she can do that. That's the thing with, with like, when she comes up with ideas like that. you Mattress King? Well, that's the thing that she comes up with ideas like that and, like, doesn't realize, like, nobody else feels that way. So if you want to do that, go for it. But, like, you're not going to get volunteers to go set it up. Yeah. If you pay somebody to do it, they'll do it. I'm sure, you know, back in the day when everyone was sub-20 years old, then sure, we'll all pitch in and help because, well... Yeah. Not now. You're our parents and you told us to. Yeah. Now it's like... Bitch, I'm 30. <laughs> Next time yeah. on Chinsurf Traps, we defy our parents. Yeah, because I don't, I don't fucking trust or appreciate oh, them anymore. Henry.